Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to install new speakers that I bought from Lazada the other day, which is the Sony XF1639 model. And I'm going to install it into the front of my speakers here, as you can see. But first, let us do a sound testing first before we proceed to the installation progress. Now, as you can see, I'm connected to the 3.5mm jackson on my phone here. And now we can try to play some songs off it to show the sound test. I need to turn on the vid volume. Just so to tell you guys, I'll be installing these new speakers onto my Parador Viva. So let's begin. So we are going to have to take these two screws here. One of it is in here, and then the other one is in here. Then you can take this out. Then you have to pry out all the clips around the door. But be careful, there's a wire connector inside. Oh wait, you have to take this one off. Then, just removing the clip slowly and you can lift the door panel off. Then, there's a wire inside that you have to remove. There's a clip here, right? There's clip on it, so you have to be careful. And here's the speakers. There's three screws in here, so we're gonna remove it. Then we can pull this off. And then disconnect the connector. Oh, do you know what, what brand is this? Betamec again. Parada always use Betamec. So here is the original Parada speaker and here is the Sony XF. These are 6.5 inch speakers and as you can see here, here is the back of the speaker. And this speaker has a slightly bigger magnet here so it should give stronger, I mean better sound. But uh, let's try to install it and see how it goes. The headset. Now just gonna try to expose the copper wire inside. Just gonna try to install this. I believe this is the mail, so I don't know. But I'm just going to try and install it. I'm just going to put it into this hole. This is the mail one. And then it's actually a bit harder if I install it like this. It's actually uh, much easy. If we have the adapter that should have come with the box, but uh, the seller didn't include it. Oh well, I'm going to try and install it with this. And then use this wire tap to tap it in place. Then I'm going to try to connect another one. This is the female, I believe. Then put it inside and then wrap it again. I'm going to tap as well. My work is not the best, so but please bear with me on that. As long as, as this works, I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, now we're going to install it. I can see, we can see that the hole actually aligns. This is what Sony speakers is for because they are always, they have universal screw holes for you. Should we install it like this? Or should we install it this way? I like it horizontally. Yeah, wait. Sony's logo is upside down. Let's try this way. Does it align? 
so it doesn't. I think this is the only alignment that it aligns. Oh well, gotta screw this in first to put it in place. Then we can try to play some music to see if it works. <laughs> So the speaker is working and we're going to install the back door panels back. And then we'll move on to the driver's speaker. Then put everything back in place. And then press this back. Screw in. Okay. Then we're down on this door. Now we can move on to the second door. Driver's door. Chef, Chef put this windows down. Yeah, Chef. <laughs> you should have. I didn't do it on the other door because that the power window there doesn't work anymore. This is a 12 year old my Viva already. So, you know, and products for power windows is always... Broken. Always what? <laughs> Breaks down very easily. <laughs> Brodo, please. Oh my god, okay. Here we go. Oh, 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 I see. So the controllers module here is a bit different well should have known because this is the main control here so the clip can be a bit different oh. Oh, god yo. damn this clip i hate this clip this is damn hard the thing is how come the wire color is different in here again oh gosh you can see the black stripe over there, so... I no, this is hey. pink black and then a pink... Oh, and then okay, green okay. black, just okay, okay. green white. I suppose this is negative, this is positive. I will assume those with black strips are positive. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful of this because... I don't wanna shorten my wire. Assuming that the pink black stripe is a positive, so... Let's not hope the sound cancel out each other. We are done! Yay! Now we're going to follow the alignment. I suppose it was. I think it's fine. Oh! We are done. Yay! Okay, so we're going to. I don't now know. We have to I don't know what is that. Now we have to put back this door panel. So the only okay. di things different is that this has the main controller on the driver's side. Okay. To connect this back. Oh. <laughs> I think it's easier to install this panel here because the window is down. <laughs> Screw this back in. But uh. Everything's are done. It's done. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm worried that it doesn't work. And I need my last screw. Where is my last screw? Okay. Yay! And then we need we need our windows up. And we can proceed to a sound test. How long you use for the whole installing? Process. Twenty minutes, I would say. Hmm. Ten minutes for each door, each speaker. Okay, are we done? Yay! So we are, we have done installing here. The installation progress was really smooth. I think that what's nice about Sony is that they always have the in. They, they always use the universal screw holes here so I can screw in with the stock screws we have here but the problem is that I, I'm not really entirely sure 
of the if I connect the wires correctly because on the left side of this car I think we have a different stripe than that of in the right speaker so I hope I have installed it correctly so that the speakers don't cancel out each other here what I'm going to do now is to give you another sound test here but please bear in mind that only the front speakers are upgraded to the new speakers while the speakers at the back are still stock speakers so let us try to hear the new sound test So as you can hear from my experience, you can definitely tell the sound is definitely clearer now. Especially the mid highs and highs, you can really hear finer details in the music and the vocals are really really much better. I'm sorry if I didn't play a vocal song but I can tell you from my usage experience here, I can definitely tell that the vocals are really really much better and clearer as well. I'm not sure if I have uh, experienced the full benefit of changing this speakers here because the real speakers have not been upgraded and I'm not sure entirely sure how it will affect my experience so please let me know if I should upgrade my real speakers here so that I can bring you another video on the sound test of of a fully upgraded speaker system in my car so all in all the speakers are great I think the price per performance is very good the value is very nice so if you guys have any questions leave it down in the comments here also, those who have upgraded their cars with these speakers, let me, let me know what's your experience on using these speakers. So that's it all for me guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.